say he is a broken hearted say he loves us all the same He came to take us out of the darkness Can someone please tell me his name He's the great I am Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Quadash from One Nation, One Power. And I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Ahaya, the Hashem Yeshaya, and the Barak Quadash, which is the Holy Spirit. And I'm coming to you today with another message, another understanding. I know you guys see what's going on right now what's going on in the world with this whole six months of uh, no power. My message to you is get ready. Get ready uh, spiritually, physically, mentally, spiritually. Get ready, brothers and sisters, because the Most High is going to be testing people. You're going to be testing people. Who going to have the faith? Who going to have the faith to go through what he's about to bring? Remember, the Most High says, I create evil. I, I create good and I create evil. It is I that do all these things. Most High is in control of everything. And just like in the wilderness, when he tested our ancestors to know what was in their heart, he about to do that to us. So get ready, brothers and sisters. This is no time to second guess. This is, this is time to make your decisions. You know, what you need, what the Holy Spirit tells you. You need to go do it, whatever it may be. There's no time for procrastination. It's just time for movement. It's time to get on your knees even harder. It's time to pray. Before things happen, you don't want to be one of those people that pray after things happen. You want to send those prayers before you and behind you. You hearing me out there? I'm talking to somebody. Send those prayers before you and behind you. All right, brothers and sisters, I'm going to just take you for for a little ride, a little uh, bit of scriptures. And it's going. It's not going to be too much. Uh, just to help you in your walk and in these days to come. All right. So the first scripture we're going to go to, we're going to be going to Ezekiel chapter 14. And we're going to start at verse 14. All right. And it reads. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel and Job were in it, they shall deliver. But their own soul by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. So even though Noah, Job, and Daniel were in it, the only way they delivered their soul is by their righteousness, keeping the laws, statutes, and the commandments. Deuteronomy 6, 
and 25, I believe. Let me get that real quick. This gives you a precept to show you what righteousness is. I think it's Deuteronomy chapter 6. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. All right. And it reads, and it shall be our righteousness, and it shall be our righteousness, if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he commanded us. That was that's what righteousness, that's what righteousness is, brothers and sisters, is keeping the laws, statutes, and the commandments, brothers and sisters. So Noah, Daniel, and Job were, even though they were in it, okay. They were in some trouble. They were in a phantom. Even though they were in it, they delivered their own soul by their righteousness. Okay, we got to think of our soul, brothers and sisters. That's the number one thing. Because you can get ready. You can prep. But if your soul ain't right, and if your heart ain't right, then you ain't going to make it. You hearing me, brothers and sisters. I'm going to keep going. Verse 15. If I cause newsome beasts, to pass through the land and they spoil it so that it become, that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beast. Though these three men were in it, even though they were most high sin beast, even though these, these they, even though these beasts came by them, right? As I live, this is what the most high is saying. He says, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They only shall be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. So the Most High is saying, Job, Noah, you guys are the only one that's going to be delivered because you're in righteousness. But you're not going to de deliver your sons or your daughters. Because why? Because we must work our own salvation with fear and trembling, as the scripture says. So if you are a son or a, or a daughter to a prophet or to a man of the most high God, you must be saved by your own righteousness, which is keeping the laws, statutes, and the commandments, brothers and sisters. Let's keep going. Verse 16, actually verse 17, or if I bring a sword upon the land and say, sword, go through the land. So that I cut off men and beast from men. And it reads, verse 18, though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither, they shall, excuse me, they shall deliver neither son nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Again. Even when the Most High brings a sword, we know what a sword is. I mean, let, let me get the precept for a sword. Let's go to Psalms. Psalm 17 and verse 13. It says, this is the precept for sword. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver me. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. The wicked which is thy sword. So the wicked men, the wicked nations, the Most High uses them as his sword. So even though he brings a sword upon a land, even though those three men were in it, they were delivered by their righteousness, keeping the laws, statutes, and the commandments. But their children, if they keep the laws, statutes, and commandments, they will be delivered also. But if they're not, they're not going to be delivered, saith the Most High. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> We're at verse 19. Or if I send a pestilence unto the land and pour out my fury upon it in blood to cut off from it men and beast, though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it. As I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughters. They shall but deliver their own souls by their 
righteousness. So brothers and sisters, if you are if you are a man of the most high God, get your house in order. Make sure your sons and your daughters, your wives, you know, everybody under you is keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. All right? Be that example. And hopefully that the Most High puts it in them, that they follow you, keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. Because that's our protection, brothers and sisters. At the end of the day, that's our protection. All right? And I want to bring out one more thing. All right, we're going to be going to the Apocrypha. I'm going to be reading out of this one. All right, it's a little more clear. All right, the other one has a lot of old English in it. This is, says it plainly. All right, and I'm going to go to 2nd Edgerus, chapter 16. And I'm going to start at verse 40. All right, and here we go. Hear my words, O my people. Hear my words, O oh my people. So you better pay attention to what Most High got to say. Prepare for the battle. Prepare for the battle. No, 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 no. Wait. The Most High says, wait for the battle. No, brothers and sisters. He's saying, prepare for the battle. We must prepare spiritually, physically, mentally. All right? Let's prepare for this battle, brothers and sisters, because it's going to be a battle. They that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, right? And in the midst of the calamity, it says, be like strangers on the earth. Be like strangers on the earth. So that's one of the key understandings that we have to be. We must become strangers to this land, become strangers upon this earth. Some strangers where we live, when all this goes down, when we have to really prepare ourselves for the battle, right? I'm going to keep going. Verse 41, let the one who sells be like one who will flee. So if you're selling anything, if you have a business out there, let it go. Flee. Just let it go. Be like a stranger when this all goes down. Forget it. Sorry, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm telling you what the Bible says. Forget it. Walk away. You must have to, you must you must walk away from everything. And, and it reads, let the one who buys be like one who will lose. Be like one who buys a car. Be like one who will lose his new car with his 22-inch rims on it, with his uh leather seats. Let it go. Let it go, brothers and sisters. Most High is telling us. Verse 42. Let the one who does business be like one who will not make a profit. Be like one who, who does business. So if you're selling anything, if you have a nice, uh, nice company, be like now. You know what? When, when I see that the battle coming on, be like, you ain't going to profit for nothing. Don't sit out there guarding your, your, your business with a gun. Don't sit out there doing them. Let it go. Walk away from it, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> and it reads, and let the one who builds a house be like one who will not live in it. So if you got a house, if you build, a, if you build your own house or if you own a house, all right, be like one who will not dwell in it. All right? Just walk away. Most high is telling us, don't hold on to these things. When the battle comes, when you see the battle coming, you understand me? Verse 43, let the one who sows be like one who will not reap. So if you have a garden, you spend all year prepping, and you have to go. The Holy Spirit tells you to go. You must leave. Walk away from it. <clears throat> so also the one who prunes and vines, like one who will not gather the grapes. Verse 44. Those who marry, like those who will have no children. 
So if you're married and you see the battle coming and you don't have no kids, continue to be like that. All right. Most high saying this. I'm not saying this. All right. Be like, let me read that again. Those who marry like those who will have no children and those who do not marry and those who are single like those who are widows that you won't be married. Most high saying this. You prepare ye for the battle. You have to have your mindset just like this. Because of this, those who labor, labor in vain. Those who labor, labor in vain. If you try to profit on your business right now, and you've seen the battle coming, and if you, you know, you you decorating your house, you know, you buying cars, you're doing all this, let it go. You're doing it in vain, the Bible's saying. It says, for strangers shall gather their fruits. For strangers shall gather their fruits. The strangers are going to come. And they're going to dwell in those fruits. And prune their goods. Overthrow their houses. So you see, you're doing all this to just, 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 just for them to come in and make your house a mess and, and, and own everything. You're doing it all for nothing. And take their children captive. For in captivity and phantom, they will produce their children. Those who conduct business do so only to have it pro, uh, poured, excuse me, plundered. Those who do business do only to have it plundered. So if you're doing business, it's only going to be destroyed. The more they adorn their cities their houses and their possessions and their persons, the more anger I will be with them for their sins, said the Lord. Just as a respectable and virtuous woman abhorreth a prostitute. So just that, just like how a virtuous woman sees a prostitute, he she, she sees that woman live in a certain way and she's disgusted so righteousness shall abhor iniquity when she decks her herself out and shall accuse her to her face when he cometh so will so who will defend the one who searcheth out every sin on earth so brothers and sisters, you don't want to be looking like no prostitute. You want to be looking like a virtuous woman when he comes back. When all when if you if you survive all this, all right, time to let go. The more you deck your houses, the more you keep your businesses, and you seeing it coming, the more he gonna be angry with you. Prepare ye for the battle. This is Brother Quidash from One Nation, One Power. So be it.